Hello and welcome to lesson 3 on getting started with Unity. In this tutorial we're going to add textures to the terrain that we built last time and that's going to make it look more realistic. So if I go back to the terrain in Unity, it doesn't look like much at the moment. Snowy mountains maybe, but this area at the bottom I want to make these look more like hills and I maybe add some sand for later on as well because we're going to add water. So if I click on the terrain and the inspector window pops up, I'm now going to click on the paintbrush option and come down to edit textures, add texture. This window pops up, I click select and that lets me choose from all the available textures that have been downloaded. If there are not many textures here, you may have to download some textures by going into the Assets option at the top, clicking Environment, 3D Environment, and then that should load up lots more assets, lots more textures. Right. So I'm going to choose a grassy texture as my base layer. Now on my base layer, I'm going to choose a really sort of muddy, rocky color, and then I'm going to choose to later on add more colors on the top. So this is sort of my, my dirt layer of the ground. So by clicking Add, you should notice now that my world just looks like sort of a muddy, rocky, barren mess, which is fine for starters. Now I want to paint on some other areas to create perhaps grass, sand, snow, anything else. So back to edit textures over here on the right. Add a texture. Select a second texture. And this time I'm going to choose sort of a more of a, a grassy layer. So let's see, grass frond, no, I want a grassy hill or grassy rocky. Okay, so I'm going to choose grassy rocky. This is going to create something that looks similar but has got perhaps a little bit more vegetation on. So over here on the right I need to choose that kind of texture now and I'm going to paint this onto my world by clicking a paintbrush. So I'm going to click this sort of scattered effect here. I want a nice big brush. Let's keep the opacity sort of something like that mid-range and if I zoom in so you can see what happens Hopefully you'll be seeing this. The world has now started to color in some sort of grassy effects. Not too different from the grassy rocks before. So let's create another texture, add another texture in, and this time let's make it really different. Let's have a grassy, much more grassy this time. So let's choose grassy. So this is going to be much more green. Click Add and hopefully you can see that it's becoming a lot greener okay if I'm not happy with the strength of it if I want it to be really clear let's go target strength and now hopefully there we go you can start to really see the difference so I'm going to have these lower areas of my world are going to be much greener and that's going to leave the top areas of the world sort of darker and rocker where, rockier where nothing is growing. I'm going to add one more texture and this one is going to be a sand set texture. If you can't find it by looking down you can always do a search for it. But there it is, sand, and add that in. Um, I'm going to change my kind of brush here brush size. I want to be more detailed and what I want to do is I want my bottom part of the world here to be sandy and the reason for that is soon I'm going to be adding water into my world and I want the bottom part of my world to be sort of sandy like it was beach area. Okay so there's that. Uh, don't forget to go around the back of your world and do the back part of it as well. Here we go. And you can see in the game window at the bottom 
that it's changing the colour of things as I do that. Okay, so it's not looking too bad. Looking a lot more like a real world than it did before. Next time we're going to be looking at how we can add even more detail like grass and um, trees and then later on we'll be adding water to really make this world look like a real place. That's it for now.